Good evening, I'm Crystal Cruz. We want to update you on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Brett's assault on me dra drastically altered my life. For a very long time, I was too afraid and ashamed to tell anyone these details. I'm here today to tell the truth. I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not in college, not ever. Supreme Court nominee Sexual Brett Kavanaugh responding to testimony from Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who says he tried to sexually assault her both when they were teens. Ford said she was, quote, 100% certain that Kavanaugh assaulted her, which he repeatedly denied. President Donald Trump tweeted his support of Kavanaugh, saying his testimony was, quote, powerful, honest, and riveting. Visit CBSLA.com for the very latest. A California sexual assault suspect is now on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. The FBI says Greg Allen Carlson committed armed robbery in the L.A. area back in July of 2017 and tried to rape the victim. Carlson was arrested but skipped bail, later appearing in South Carolina, Florida and Alabama, where police say he led them on a high-speed chase and escaped. There's a $100,000 award being offered for information leading to Carlson's arrest. And the L.A. Teachers Union and the L.A. Unified School District began talks today with a state mediator hoping to avoid a strike. The union rejected a final contract offer earlier this week that included a 6 percent pay raise over two years and reduced class sizes at 90 schools. The union called the offer insulting and wants a 6.5 percent raise retroactive to 2016. Teachers already voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike if a contract agreement cannot be reached. And the SEC is suing Elon Musk for securities fraud, saying the Tesla CEO misled investor, investors when he tweeted about taking the company private. Musk said on August 7th that he had obtained funding to take the car maker private at $420 per share, surprising even the company's own head of investor relations. The SEC says Musk used the 420 number as a reference to marijuana and thought his girlfriend would find it funny. Now here's Marquina Brown with a look at the weather. Thank you, Crystal. We've got changes on the way thanks to this area of low pressure. And by changes, I mean clouds, cooler temperatures, and then eventually some rain, maybe even some storms for some folks. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast. Getting into Friday, we're looking at 75 for the beaches, cooling into the low 70s. L.A. and Orange County will see those temperatures cooling through the 80s and then upper 70s, even some low 70s in the forecast by next week. And the valleys will see those temperatures eventually cool into the low 80s. We've got this system coming in that could give the folks in the Inland Empire some rain by next week. High desert looking at 96 degrees tomorrow, but 78 next Tuesday, 50s and even some thunderstorms next week for the mountains. Back to you. And join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6 and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Marquina Brown, I'm Crystal Cruz. Have a great evening.